So I'm on my way to Westcliff uh, today with James, who was in the last vlog. Um, we're off to film our showreel today. Well, his showreel. I'm just in one scene of it. Um, should be a really good day. Weather's turned out really nice. We've got some nice locations picked. A um, lot of really good people involved. Some good actors. A good um, showreel maker who's filming it and editing it for us. Will be really good. Um, oh, that's a lovely shot. Oh, so yeah, meeting up with James. Um, got three scenes to film in total. Uh, it should be really good. I'll catch up later in the day. Pavilion, which is so cool. I'll get some exterior shots of the building and everything. It's a beautiful theatre. We're just using one of the studios, um, and yeah, really excited. So uh, yeah, when I graduated from X15, and I needed a showreel, um, and so I, I looked at all the various companies and whatever, and what I wasn't happy with. Yeah, even the really expensive companies, you can always tell that they're showreels, that they're all, you know, I mean, that they, they're tailor-made because they just all look the same. Mm. And they don't have a sense of style, they don't have a sense of being really part of a bigger movie. And that sort of gives it away to me. So that's what I did when I started and I wrote my own scenes and stuff. Each scene was a different genre. It had to be, like, like clearly, and that goes from uh, from the writing to how you use the camera, how you color grade it, and all the rest. And and that has been, yeah, you know, that proved quite successful <laughs> so far, obviously. Um, and yeah, so it kind of, I don't know, it kind of makes you makes me laugh a bit when people just improvise themselves, uh, showreel makers, or, or you know, when you have schools that give students a camera and say, go and shoot your own showreel, anybody can do it, and like, ah, really? Because, I mean, there's a ton of skills that you have to put together just to be a good filmmaker, and on top of that, you also need to understand how showreels work how to write good scenes that will end up in the showreel in the right way. Uh, again, how to give a sense of style to each scene and all of that. And I mean, it's, no, I mean, it's not rocket science, but at the same time, it's not like anybody can just jump up and do it. So, yeah. I think I was playing it very safe at the beginning to make sure that I could deliver something good. And mm. then, slowly, as you go, you start to take more risks, you start to experiment a little bit, and. It's quite cool because at the end of the day, as long as I provide good professional footage, I can do pretty much whatever I like. Mm. And that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that is a wrap on our scene. We've just finished up filming. Um, we're sort of packing up now, getting ready to go to the next location. I'm going to go get changed in a second. Um, out of my shirt and tie. we got James over here. Oh. How'd that go for you, buddy? I, I went really well, actually. I think we found it after a few takes, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was a fun scene to do. Yeah, I thought so too. It's nice to. It's been a while since I've done any screen acting as well, so it was nice to delve back into yeah. properly working on a script, being directed by someone. Rajir is a really good director. Really? I thought, um, and and he gave us a few techniques individually for our characters and such like uh, to breathe and just to kind of find the emotion within. Breathing is really good. It's something I think James it's struggles essential. with a lot. Yeah. No, I actually did it too much, didn't I? I mean, I needed to stop <laughs> yeah. breathing. It was like Chung Sook again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're getting ready to head to the next location and get on with the next scene, which should be good. Um, we're going to someone's house. I don't know where. I don't think James... I, I don't know where. <laughs> okay, that's that's great. That's really promising. Oh, I don't actually have any so trousers funny. apart from joggers. <laughs> no, <I can't. laughs> So guys, 
close as possible. So hold hands, touch for hands. So look into each other's eyes and now whisper. You should be so quiet that I shouldn't be able to understand you from here. Okay? Go. Way quiet. The next part is when obviously we start to see that there's something boiling underneath. And the way to go for it is to really bring, bring it down. You're not, in a way, talking to him. I mean, like, mm -hmm. voicing your fear. Yeah. But it's not like you're trying to explain them, it's not like, you know. And because he's clearly not equipped to deal with this, your fear turns into anger at him. Okay, well, I was going to bring a jumper, but... Yeah. Good way to keep him out of the shop, though, no, actually. Okay, let's keep him in it. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah oh, my God. I need to snap um, Yeah, I quite like it. So we've wrapped up on scene two. We're now rehearsing scene three. Uh, it's an outdoor shoot. As you can probably guess from the sounds, there's a lot of cars going by. Um, they're just going over the lines and directing and stuff. I'm sort of just loitering around awkwardly filming stuff. I don't know if any of that's going to be usable because I'm expecting the cars are just masking out all the sound. Um, and the kids going woohoo. But yeah, I think it's been a really good day so far. I'm looking forward to watching them direct the other scene. It's been interesting where well, I'm only in the first, I was only needed for the first scene, but I got, I'm getting to watch them film and rehearse all the other scenes. It's, it's good to see how it's done and how different actors work and interpret scripts, because obviously I've seen all three of the scripts. Um, so it's nice to see the different ways they're being done and what they're doing with them. Acting's hard. Acting's hard. Something interesting, Jim. It's worth it when I get it on. Give me my money. Give me your money. Bitch. Sorry, I'm not moving. Well, it depends. That's the point of playing both. Both look at whatever you know, the point of the side of that. Yeah, it looks like you're looking at the same thing, which is going to be the So, which is which? So, the one on this side is the jewelry, the one on that side is. Dance. Go. I'm gonna dance in a chippy, am I? <laughs> <laughs>